Former Birmingham Mayor Larry Langford is preparing to head home. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jack Royer. Langford in bad health. His sentence reduced today, signed by the same judge who sentenced him to prison eight years ago. The order signed by Judge Scott Kugler coming after impassioned support from lawmakers at all levels of government. We start tonight with CBS 42's Corey McGinnis speaking to some of those very people, sharing with you tonight, Corey, why they believed he fit the bill for compassionate release. Yeah, Jack, lawmakers such as Terry Sewell and Doug Jones say given the grave nature of Langford's current illness, they think that it's uh, really compassionate for all of us during this season of giving and hopes that they allow the mayor Langford to spend his last days with his family here in Birmingham. Well, that's now the case. I say Supporters of Larry Langford had their prayers answered on Friday when a federal judge reversed course and granted the former Birmingham mayor release from prison. So God use him as a now they pray for his recovery. We are here to pray for his healing, for long jeopardy. The decision comes at the request of U.S. Attorney Jay Town, who says after reviewing the information provided by the Bureau of Prisons, it was their judgment that compassionate release and reduction of sentence was appropriate under limited circumstances. He was released. He was not pardoned. Senator Doug Jones says when and, Langford and, and gets and home, he will still have that, some look, supervision, want, but at a no, minimum. He's not going to have to report and do things like that. They understand his health issues. The 72-year-old's family says he's in failing health, suffering from heart failure, serving a 15-year sentence on bribery and public corruption. And it was very hard to get a decision uh, right away. Along with Jones, Congresswoman Terry Sewell has been vocal about getting Langford home. She says it was a difficult task considering the government shutdown to secure his release. Given the government shutdown, given the holiday season, to get this um, uh, the supplemental medical records uh, up to the powers that be in hopes that they would reconsider a uh, compassionate release. And so that's what happened. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin released this statement in part, quote, I have maintained that Mayor Langford was the ideal candidate for compassionate release. I'm glad that federal officials saw fit to grant his immediate release. My prayers are with him and his family, end quote. Meantime, supporters await for his arrival and wish him and his family well. I want him to have good health, and I want him to look out for Ms. Langford. Now, no word on exactly when Langford will return home. The city of Birmingham, however, is expected to help out with arranging his transportation. Live in the newsroom tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right.